Welcome to Toko Expert channel. Seen in the center here, there are two connectors from Philips Avalon Fiddle Monitor Transistors Cable on the left, where it says Lot 5B is the original connector from Philips. On the right is aftermarket non OEM or non Philips part. It has a different imprint 11 forward slash. 24. The look is very deceiving as aftermarket part look alike original Philips connector. There is very distinctive difference and the process used for manufacturing. Original connector has potting done inside after the cable is soldered onto the pins of the red connector and then rubber over mold is done for the strain relief whereas aftermarket connectors no matter from which third party manufacturer it comes from is molded that means once the cable is crimped onto the pins it's molded into the hard plastic and over molded with the rubber there is no potting use the distinctive difference from technical point of view is drip proof when it is potted, over molded has more leakage current and that too intermittently keeps wearing. There is no way to take care of spurious noise problem arising out of over molded connector due to fluctuations of impedance weather conditions etc. On the other side of these cables this is original one the strain relief has plastic inserts whereas third party strain relief has metal insert with heat shrink just after the connector original strain relief does have black potting material at the center which keeps the characteristic impedance in control it is drip proof moisture cannot intrude inside the transistor causing havoc to the SMD components metal insert third eighth party part is not grounded, picks up electromagnetic signal, spurious RF adds to the intermittent problem leading to high fetal heart rate display on the fetal monitor even when actual heart rate is normal in the range of 140 which interferes with the clinical interpretation. End user has to do a lot of manipulation and figure it out where the problem lies. Reliability factor with non-OEM parts greatly reduce which makes it non-compliant to OEM specifications. The metal strain relief insert puts physical stress and top bottom cases get separated very easily crack that's another issue so it's better to use original Philips part which lasts at least for three years in a normal usage after market cable fades away color changes becomes yellow and tend to fend within short span of time you're lucky if it lasts for a year whereas it is expected to last at least three years in comparison with original Philips part. There are other videos depicting various chronic issues with non-OEM parts such as crystals, non-conformal process of bonding the crystals to plastic case and that to a plastic case you is from third party non-Philips reinforced 
which greatly affects the ultrasound beam quality. Please watch these videos, share them with your colleagues, give us a feedback. We can provide you precise answer so that you can make your decision. At Avron Bionics, we repair these devices, all the fetal transducers with Avalon fetal monitoring system, wired and wireless, exactly 100% to Philips factory specification. If in doubt, send repair devices to Philips factory, have them tested, turn in the report showing deviation. You would be reimbursed for all the cost paid for repairs, shipping charges, also reimbursed Philips factory testing fees. On top of that, a brand new transistor would be ordered to be given as free replacement or compensation towards failure on our part, not delivering OEM quality. Bottom line, you get the best OEM quality, second to none, overall warranty for two years, extended warranties, even a standard warranty of lifetime on crystal bonding through our QR cube proprietary innovative process implementation. Go to avalontoco.com. Please give us a call. We look forward serving you with world class quality, helping you to deliver great patient care. Thank you.